Okay, good day class. So, for today, we are going to discuss operational plan, which is another part of the business plan. So, for today's discussion, this would be the learning outcomes. You have to prepare the operational plan for your business or for your proposed business. So, what is operational plan? So, it is a document that consists of information regarding the premises, plants and equipment, the floor plan of your business, the production, who are those suppliers, the level of your stock, the purchasing policies and controls, and even analysis. So, we are going to discuss this one by one. Okay, so let us first discuss the premises, plant, and equipment. Okay, so in your business profile, profile, I mean, you have already nominate your location of your business. So at this time, uh, it would be useful to give reasons for your choice of locations. Nga nung diha man nakalokita in yung business. It could be that you have located kung asa ang maayong nga flow sa traffic. So, if maayo ang flow sa traffic, then best na siya since um, naamay daghang customer. Okay? And, that, and it would be, it would cause an attraction to your business, especially if traffic and then nag-offer mo mga drinks or mga cookies or mga desserts. So, it would be the best time for them to buy while waiting for the traffic so mga ingana okay or perhaps proximity to supplier or an available workforce were determining your factors okay so mauna siya ang premises plant and equipment so we have to consider also this question when we are going to talk about pre premises plant and equipment of your business Okay, uh, do you require local government approval for the use of the premises for your type of business? Okay, nagkailangan ba na siya o kanang approval from the government? Kailangan ba mumukuha o mga permits in doing the uh, business or in look, kung asa nakalocate ang inyohang business? Uh, will you need to pay for a fit out of the premises or will you need only to redecorate and can handle it yourself with the help a family and friends so um the design of the of the of the of the premise of your or kung asa nakalocate ang inyo ham business okay na ba na siya or kailangan ninyo i-redecorate with the help of your friends and family or what plant and equipments are you going to need will it be new a second hand ba na siya or kailangan ba ninyo mo palit or mo abang lang Okay, have you given thought to an efficient workflow when installing fitting and plant equipment? Okay, mona siya ang mga questions that you need to consider when you are talking about the premise, your your equipment in your uh, business plan. Okay, so let us proceed to your floor plan. Okay, so it's a great idea to draw a floor plan of the premise and to scale to show the position of all areas in your business okay you have to pace it out and make sure that the flow is comfortable and of course um the workflow is kana bitang luag lang siya dili kay dikit likit and also the employee in the kitchen area or where the manufacturing or the production will happen is not enough space to do the job okay so it should be that the floor plan will show the workflow so the distance from the counter to the dining area if uh, restaurant na siya. Uh, that would be the distance from the counter to the kitchen 
or even ang distance sa mga tables and chairs. In that, you'll be able to identify if pila ang capacity or kaya i-accommodate ninyo sa inyuhang uh, building or sa inyuhang restaurant if it is a restaurant. Okay? So, very important yun ang floor plan since it will give you an idea or it will give you a vi na siya, visual visual na bitaw ang kanang visible i mean kana makita na gyud ninyo ang kana bitaw workflow sa inyong business okay asa ipang locate ang mga equipments asa ang inyong counter asa dapit ang inyong kitchen if asa ang comfort room so mao na siya ang naasa floor plan after creating the floor plan you are going now to um, proceed to the production so operational plan would include the production so in production it would include how many can you produce like for those desserts nga cakes or mga cookies or or again desserts you have to identify or determine how many pastries product can you produce in a day a week or even a month you have to discuss and identify all this okay so if your business will be manufacturing products, then you will need to include information regarding the production capacity, uh, the output levels, the production method, and the production quality control. Okay? Now, let's proceed to purchasing supply. Okay? So, it is a vital part of any business operation is the sourcing and purchasing of goods, products, and services which is which it requires to or in order to operate so this is especially true uh, in the tourism industry where uh, primarily you are selling other organizations product and services okay so you have to establish a, a reliable cost effect supply cost effective supply change chain i mean is essential to small business Okay, so you have to identify the skills that is suitable for the products, then achieving the best possible prices and supply terms will be very beneficial to your business. Okay, so when we say cost-effective chain, uh, this is essential to the business. You are going to identify who will be your suppliers and or who will be your potential supplier Dili lang kay mo order mo without even checking the quality of the product. So, dapat na agid mo potential suppliers that would help your business in achieving your goal, in achieving your goal, and at the same time, uh, help your business succeed in the market. Okay? When we say stock level, so again, in the tourism industry, uh, many of your operation is based around selling other products and services. Therefore, stock level may not be a major consideration. Uh, that said, if you offer your own travel-related product or services, uh, careful consideration must be given to ensure that you have an adequate stock. Okay? So, the purchasing plan is dependent on the information from the marketing plan and takes into account uh, production schedules and requirements so remember that marketing plan was based on the sales target okay so you can see the flow on effect from having relevant sales target you have to think about what suppliers your business will require you will need to shop around and perhaps find more than one supplier to avoid being let down if you prefer supplier that uh, ka nandili bito mas satisfy sa mga requirements from time to time. However, if you use one supplier for a certain type of product, you will receive quantity discounts. Okay? So, you have to consider this question. How frequent will you purchase supplies? Okay? Kapila man ka mupalit. Mupalit lang baka kay nahurot na ang inyong supply? Okay, how will you set and maintain stock levels? Will you use the just-in-time practice? 
Okay? If you carry too much stock, do you risk it becoming unusable or obsolete? So, those are the things that you need to ask when you are considering the stock level of your business. Okay? Or, kind of, inyuhang mga ingredients, like mga items, kind of, itong na expiration date. So, very important na siya nga inyuhag yun ma-balance ma or matantiyan ninyo kung ang expiration date anak niya sakto basad sa pagkahurot anak niya or basil o ma-expire lang na siya tapos wala magamit. So, daghan kaayo ang inyong stock and then abta na mo sa inyong expiration date sa kanya nga item. So, very important na, na, na siya. Okay? If we don't want to stop the production, we have to identify the stock level until what date that certain ingredients or stocks. Okay? You have to consider this question. So, muna to siya akong giingon this question. Mupalit ba ka ka? Inig ka hurot na? Or naakay allowance? Hila ka days? Hantod mo abot na sa imulain na stocks. You have to think and process. You have to think bitaw sa processing order and any end, and especially sa delivery time because it really requires time. So, mohata gid kaog allotted time for the delivery and for the processing of that certain item. Okay? So, you have to consider good if until kanus a ang available na stocks. Makaabot ba na based sa imuhang target date? Kay if mahotlan gid mo stock, it would cause, cause a lot of problem. Like, na ay mo order ano nga food, pero gibalibara ni mo kay wala kay stock ano nga ingredients. In doing so, it would add a negative impact to your customer. Okay, makaingon sila nga, ah, maluma-luma sila baligya ana, pero di man din sila makahatag na ko ana. Diba? So, kailangan din na ninyo i-balance. You have to think regarding on your supply, regarding on your stock. Okay? Purchasing policy and control. Okay, so it is good to practice to document the purchasing policies of your business. You have to consider what will be the terms of payment for each supplies or for each supplier. Mubayad ba kada yun or installment lang siya? Please take note that this refers to each suppliers. If nakailain la ay nga supplier, then you have to identify each term okay how are you what purchases uh, what purchasing procedures will you use will you have written purchase orders or order ba ba, ba ka by phone or emails will you match this invoice and delivery dockets against invoices okay um what controls will you have in place to prevent or detect theft or fraud okay um how will you pay your suppliers it could be cash uh, bank transfer or is there any discount for prompt payment? Okay. Like in theft or fraud or any other circumstances, um, how are you going to make sure nga dili mo mailan? Especially nga new pa mo sa, sa business, there would be tendency that the supplier would take advantage. Okay. So very important yun nga na mo knowledge on certain Certain things, especially this one. Okay? So, another question or another thing that you have to consider in regarding to purchasing policies and control is that what commission apply? Okay? Um, Magdepende magud na siya since na may uban na mga supplier nga ka na bitaw. Muhatag sila commission depending on the number of item nga imuhang purchase or especially if bulk ang imuhang palit. Diba? Mohatag yun sila mga commission, Anna. And then, how much of your funds do you want to tie up in stock? Okay? Okay. Now, let's discuss break-even analysis. Okay? So, a break-even analysis determines at which point sales begin to cover cost. After that, sales revenue becomes profit. There are several methods that can be used in this analysis. The first step is we are going to identify what is fixed cost. Okay, so fixed fixed costs. These are the costs that remain even when there is no business activity. Ah, example: rent, insurance, managers, manager salary. Okay, so fixed cost means ah these are the things or these are the costs na dili na siya ma change. 
regardless if your store would open or not, regardless if your sale is ubos or taas. The costs still remain. Okay? When we say variable costs, those costs that vary directly with business. Uh, example, like a business activity, example, uh, purchases and electricity. Okay? So, these are the costs na na-incur sa pag-produce sa product. Like, uh, material cost, okay, the cost of the ingredients and other items involved in the production. When we say contribution margin, it is the difference between the variable cost and the sales or the selling price. That's why sa inyong uh, marketing plan, you have to identify fi, or naagid kay price sa inyong product. Because these are the things that you have to identify to know or to get the big even analysis. We have to understand the break-even point so that we can determine how many products we are going to sell to cover the cost at a certain time. Okay, so given this example, our tourist attraction has fixed cost of $18,000. The selling price for ticket is $45,000 and the variable cost are $15,000 per unit. So you are going to calculate the break-even point. So, ticket selling price is $45 uh, dollar less the variable cost which is 15 and the contribution margin is 30 To work out the break-even point, we have to this divide the fixed cost by the contribution margin because their amount contribution to paying out fixed cost. So, break-even point is equal to fixed cost uh, divide, divide by the contribution margin. Okay, so the break, the fixed cost is 18,000 and the contribution margin is 30. Okay, so this amount na to gikuha ang 30. 30 nakuha na siya by deducting the 45 and the 15. So 45 minus 15 that would be 30. Okay? So the break even is that 6 um the attraction has to sell 600 tickets to cover or $27,000 to cover the sales revenue. Okay, so in other words, in order for the organization to cover its cost, it needs to sell 600 tickets. Okay, another example in relation to your business concept or business plan. Like katung mga nagkuadong mga pastry product. So, okay, let's, let's give an example for cookies. So, the fixed cost is 5000 the selling price is 50 and the variable cost is 30 per unit. So, the answer would be, or your break-even point is 250 cookies. Okay, so you have to sell 250 costs, cookies to, to cover the cost. Okay, so again, remember, variable cost, that would be per unit. And break even, it should be per item nga imo gisel sa imo hanga business. Okay? Another example, example number two. So, our business also wants to make a profit of $12,000. Okay? So, basing on the first example, fixed cost profit. So, i-add lang siya ni mo ang i-profit like $18,000 plus $12,000 divided by 30. Okay? So, the answer would be, 1,000 tickets or $45,000 revenue to realize a profit. Okay, so through this, uh, we can find out if we can actually gain or not from the selling price. Remember, our aim is to gain revenue. Nya malugi na nua. So, one of the ways to do it is to less the fixed cost or variable cost and increase the selling price so that we can gain a revenue and at the same time covering the cost incurred in the production. Okay, so maolan to siya. So to understand more about calculating break-even policy, um, Ms. Hannah uh, uploaded a video regarding the break-even point or the break-even uh, break analysis computations. Okay? So, um, okay na to siya nga inyong kitaon. So, if wala gid mo nakasabot sa discussion regarding ato niya, so pwede mo mag-self-study. Okay? Available na to siya sa e-learning or sa Moodle. Okay?
Now, for your laboratory activity side, you're going to prepare an operational plan for your business. Okay, so these are the things that you are going to do. So again, it would be a group activity, but the worksheet is to be submitted individually and also you are going to present this one. I have given you this schedule already in my last uh, pre-recorded discussion on laboratory exercise 3 and 4. Okay, so for the introduction, you have to define what is operational plan, discuss its importance to the development of the business plan, and briefly discuss the elements of the operational plan and the operational planning process, and then copy the objective. And then for the methodology, discuss the actions that your group has done to complete the laboratory exercise. Then this would be the result. Okay? So, kani pare pare hal gid mug answer ani since group mates man mo. Okay? So, present here the result of your activity. Uh, the, the premise, plant, and equipment. So, you have to describe the premise of your building. Okay? You have to identify the materials and equipment that you are going to put in place. Like for AB bakes, kato sila nga group. So, kung sa man nga equipment ang inyong ibutang sa inyong building. Okay, okay, more on manufacturing man mo sa inyong mga cakes or unsan na inyong mga pastry product, then na may pamutang ang mga oven, mga yung anak. And dili na kay oven na inyong ibutang, you have also to discuss anak, okay? The next one is floor plan. You are going to draw a floor plan of the premise and to scale or show the position of all work areas, equipment, and others. Okay? Discuss why it is the best layout. Okay? Din lang kay oh, na na may layout. You have to discuss nga nung na nga area dapit ang kitchen. Nga nung na dapit area ang counter. Ana, inyuhan na siya i-discuss. And then next is production. So you have to discuss the following. Production capacity, the output levels, the production methods, and then the production quality control. Okay? Na na siya sa ato discussion. And then the next one, Purchasing and suppliers. So you have to answer the following question. What materials will you need to operate the business? Who would supply the identified items? Okay, so it should be in a table form. Okay, so is what niya sa tag sa per item gina siya ha? Per item gina siya. And then who will be your possible supplier? And then their contact details of the identified supplier. Next is the stock levels. So you have to discuss how many or how would you ensure that, the, that you have the right amount of supply to operate. You have to discuss how often will you purchase the supply. Okay, again, so very important to identify the level of stocks that you are going to purchase or you're going to stock in your business. Importante na siya to avoid bitaw mga lapses like ma-expired na siya or mahotan mong stocks and then you request na, and then na din yung order and I'm asserting na product and then wala mo ana, okay? So, ito siya akong gidiscuss kaganiha. And then, for pa purchasing policies and control. So, in this section, you have to consider the following question. Okay, what will be the terms of payment for each supply supplier? So, mao na to ah, kuan ba kanang credit card or oh, installment ba or through cash ba? What purchasing procedures will you use? Will you have written purchase na by mga purchase order, um through phone calls balang or na by mga um mga purchase request, mga mga written uh, written documents to support your purchases mga ing anak. Okay, and then what controls will you have in place to prevent or detect theft or fraud? So, unsa may yung mga buhaton to to avoid those things na mahitabo sa inyong business. And then, maghimo ba kamog inventory from time to time, mga ingana. Okay, so how will you pay your suppliers? Through cash ba? Um, through bank transfer ba? Or, or kanang... <clears throat> Um, check or through check mga yung ana, okay? And then what currencies will be used for payment? Peso ba, dollar ba, or other currency? And then what commission apply? Okay, so if bulk ang inyong 
uh, pag purchase sa product, then there will be a possibility nga ang supplier mo hatag na siya o commission. And lastly, how much of your funds do you want to tie up in a stock? Okay? So, if you prefer nga ka lang mo kuha mo mga stock, then pila man ang inyong ihatag ng allotted nga budget for that. Okay? So, take note, it would be better if the information is presented in the table format like this one. So, item, kung sa nga item, kinsa nga supplier, kung sa ilang address, kung sa term of payment ninyo, um, the purchasing procedures, the purchasing control, may mong buhatan, and then the method of payment. Okay? And after that, you're going also to discuss the break-even analysis. Okay? You have to identify the fixed cost, identify the variable cost, Compute for the contribution margin, and then compute the break-even point for each product. At least your major product. Okay, so ang major product ng inyong. Okay, okay. Daghan na kaayo. Diba? Like for example, anong mga, like katong pastries, AB Bakes, katong mga Sweet Delights. If nag-offer mo daghang products. So, ang major lang na product ng inyong kumputan regarding on the break-even analysis. And lastly, for your learnings, challenges, and suggestions, so briefly discuss the challenges met with in your group. Okay? I discuss ninyo ang inyong challenges nga na meet while conducting the activity. Dili about sa activity. Okay? And also, you have to make suggestion po para ma-improve ang inyong ma -improve ang problem nga yung na-identify while conducting the product. O the, the, the activity, I'm sorry. Okay? Okay, so if na may mga wala na sabdan, you can contact me anytime man yun, no? Kaya mo reply man lang yun ko, okay? And also, if you want yun, ka nang makastory ako face-to-face, ka nang nag conversation. So, follow lang mo sa consultation time being uploaded sa ato ang e-learning na malito kung sa ang um, ako ang available time, Okay? So, pwede lang yung yun mo musod at ito ato ato nga schedule para uh, mag-guide mo na ako uh, makahatag ko clarifications regarding on the things na kailangan niya i-clarify in order po to come up and to finish your activity. Okay? So, that would be all. Thank you everyone and God bless.